What's going on, everybody? It's How To Tuesday, and today we're going to talk about how to become a better angler by using the tools that we have available to us today, the internet. The internet is incredible. It's incredible in so many different ways, and for a fisherman, you can really, really up your game by taking advantage of what's available. So when I first started fishing in the Florida Keys, there were no aerial photos. We had one. Uh, it was a picture of the Marquesas, and we studied that picture inside and out. Now, aerial photos and uh, the like are incredible, and you can see things that you can't see anywhere else. And today, we have those available to us not only on the Internet, but um, also on your electronics. You can have really high quality uh, images right on your electronics. And that really helps. And that's great for when you're in the boat. But when you're at home and you're going to go to a new area or probably even more importantly, when you're going to go fish someplace that you fished forever and you are going to try to learn a little bit more about that. Google Earth is one of my go-to things that I look at Every night before I go out, if we're going to go fish in a certain area, I'm going to look at Google Earth. I'm going to look at that and uh, come up with a game plan. Now, if we go to it right now, we can see that we're we're uh, right now we're in the uh, the Cudjo area. This is Loggerhead Key um, right here. Loggerhead Key is a uh, a famous tarpon spot, and you can see every little channel. That there is, you can see where the tarpon will lay up and why. You can start to, you can start to look at if you were successful in a certain area. Why was that? Was it because of the access in for the fish, or is in this situation are they coming in here and then kind of ending up in a dead end, which is something that they like to do? That's that's interesting. You can start to dissect. Uh, tarpon spots, bonefish spots, permit spots, you can do all of that. You can also um, use Google Earth for a place to access, um, you know, maybe a wading spot or maybe maybe it's where you can put your kayak in. If you start looking uh, over here, here's a, here's a good example. You can have a, a road that goes right to a dead end right here. So there's a good kayak spot. You can start looking around um, at where you can, you know, put that kayak in, where you can take it out. This might not be the best one because I think it's right by Fat Albert. So that one, you may not be able to use that. Um, not exactly sure, but you get the point. You can use Google, Google Earth to find boat ramps. You can find uh, access points. You can find little ponds. You can find breaks in the mangroves that you didn't know were there. Maybe a lot of times you're like, man, I don't know if it would be worth going up that little creek. Um, you can even have this right on your phone and use it while you're out there. And it is really incredible. If you're not using Google Earth, I highly suggest that you do. Other resources that you can use are forums and and other places where you can gather some information. Sometimes those are reliable, sometimes they're not. Um, and a third um, resource that I would tell you about is um, my friends Joe and Luke Simons. They have SaltStrong. And SaltStrong has a, an insider membership. And, you know, you hear about this, maybe you see it advertised or whatever, but it's legit. And you have courses available on uh, this insider membership by captains like Captain Peter Deeks, who I think very highly of. He is a really, really great guide. And these courses are kind of like you're going to spend a couple hours with him. And he's going to tell you his secrets and how he does the things that he does, whether that's finding fish, whether it's uh, a certain lure retrieve, maybe it's... Uh, I even saw one on there, Peter Deeks did one about how to rig a, a breakaway anchor, right? So it's not just fishing and finding fish and catching fish. It's also boat maintenance, boat uh, navigation, boat, you know, rigging like like your anchor. And this is a really good resource. And there's about 25,000 people that are taking advantage of this resource right now. Um, and it's one of those things that it's like, it's, it's so legit 
that you're almost hesitant to recommend it because, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like a secret weapon to get in there, learn from really good guides. And very soon you're going to be one of those people that is, is out there fishing in the good spots. And, uh, you know, that's why you might be hesitant to mention it to someone because you know that they're, you're going to learn a lot. And you're going to be the one in the good spots. And those good spots are where, <laughs> that's where the good guides want to be. That's where the good anglers want to be. So uh, you also learn about etiquette in in the Salt Strong Insider membership because there is a community that you, you get access to their Facebook group and there's this big community. And, and you do learn about fishing etiquette. And fishing etiquette is one of the most important things right now. As we get more and more anglers on the water, it becomes more and more important to put yourself in someone else's shoes. If you're fishing an area and there's no other boats in sight, it's it's yours. And when someone else comes in and they cut you off and they go in front of you, that's that's not cool. And and until you get in that situation, um, you realize that, wow, man, that guy kind of really messed us up. Fishing etiquette and boating etiquette is, is a really big deal. And my advice for, for uh, fishing and boating etiquette is, is simply what I said before. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. If you were fishing this area by yourself, would you want somebody jumping in front of you? Would you want someone fishing as close to you as you're fishing to them? If you don't have any other option you have to kind of go there but as you get better and better at fishing and guiding and finding spots and navigation when somebody's fishing in your spot you just go somewhere else and a lot of times it's an excellent opportunity to explore if somebody's fishing in your spot you don't have to go fish right next to them that is not good etiquette good etiquette is just move on move on and in fact if if you see somebody in a in a spot, a lot of guides will never go there because they don't they don't want to fish in somebody else's spot. They want to find the spot themselves. They want to go there when they want to go there and and uh, not have to worry about that. And when you're fishing a spot because someone else fished there, well, you know that's kind of the the recipe for um, for somebody getting upset at you that that they go there on on their charter or on their next trip and and you're sitting there that's eh, that's when people start to get upset when that happens over and over and over again so my advice is to find your own spots and an excellent way to be on the road to finding your own spots if you're unfamiliar with how to do it some of you are past this and and that's fine you're you're on your own you can find your own spots that's no problem whatsoever you have good fishing etiquette good boating etiquette good for you that's those are the type of anglers that we need on the water type of guides that we need on the water but if you're just learning this like so many of the people that have taken up fishing in the last couple of years um, and a lot of that is due to covid and welcome i I'm, i welcome you to to being uh in the fishing world. That's fantastic. It's a great thing to do. And to learn how to do it in a way that you develop respect from other people instead of developing hard feelings from other people is, you know, always put yourself in their shoes and, and just kind of think, would, would I like it if somebody did that to me? Now, in the Salt Strong membership, Insider Club membership, there are a lot of courses about how to find spots how to look on Google Earth and dissect a spot and look at it and determine, okay, I think the fish are going to be there. And if they are there, they're going to be in this area because the tide's flowing this way, because the outgoing tide's flowing that way, whatever it may be. The wind, the tide, uh, the sun angle, all of those things are very important. And they have courses all about that. So if you are feeling like man, I only have a few spots. And if somebody's in those spots, I really have to fish closer to them than I would like. The answer to that is find more spots. And you can do that not when, when you're not on the water. And that's, that's really where the internet and this whole podcast about how to Tuesday today about using the internet to become a better fisherman. Some of us only have a certain amount of time that we can fish. If you work from Monday to Friday, 
there's and and there's no time during the week. Your fishing days are Saturday and Sunday. Okay, a lot of other people's fishing days are Saturday and Sunday. And if you go out there, and the only way you're finding new spots is to actually go to the spot and try to figure that out, it's going to take you a long time to find any new spots, and probably, you know, it's just going to be a slow road. But do you have an hour a night? Do you have two hours a night where you could take one of these courses or you could be looking at Google Earth and you could be scouting out these new areas and saying, okay, this is where I think I'm going to fish and this is why and this is what I'm going to do. And on Saturday, the tide's going to be like this. And if this spot is going to hold fish, it's going to be on a high tide or on a low tide, whatever, whatever your research is showing, you go there and you try that spot out. Now you're on the road to finding more and more of your own spots. Nobody's showing you this. Nobody's nobody's teaching you in the in the way of the course. In my opinion, if you're taking a course and you're learning how to find new spots, you're doing that all on your own as well. You are putting in the time, you're putting in the research, you are dedicating yourself to finding new spots and that's what you're you're doing. Those those aren't those spots aren't being handed to you. It's about learning how to look at a map or a chart or an aerial photo and find a good looking area, figure out why that's a good looking area, and then go there and forecast the tide and forecast the conditions and actually catch some fish. That to me is far, far, far more rewarding than having somebody tell you, hey, you know, you ought to go over to that island over there and on an outgoing tide, you know, you, you can catch a lot of fish. You go there and you're like, man, that guy's right. He's really good. Well, you can be that way. You can be that way by doing a little research and and then going and trying it. And you know what? It's not going to happen every time. But when it does happen, you're going to have your own spot. You're not going to have to worry about going there um, and, and, and staying away from another guide or another angler or whatever. That's your spot. And you can take it and, and do with it what you please. And when you start finding these spots, the thing to do is to fish them rarely. That's what the good guides do, is you don't find a new spot and then go hammer it every single time that you have the right tide. Try to think of this as a continual learning process to where you are continually developing more and more spots to where you have more spots than you can fish in a day or a week or a month. And then you are able to rest spots and hit them when you need to, but rest them. And that is when you start to be really, really good. And the path to that is studying the charts, studying Google Earth, and taking these courses. So if you're interested in the Salt Strong membership, you can look in the bio or uh, in the show description, in the show notes. There'll be a link right there. You can go there and, uh, and join up. I think it's very reasonably priced and it's 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 a good buy. If you are not using Google Earth, strongly suggest that you do and also use that as a resource to really study the areas that you currently fish and the areas where you might go where you've never been before. It is a it is the, one of the best tools out there. All right, so that's how to Tuesday this week. Do the research. Do the extra work. And in certain situations, get a coach. You can get a coach, a fishing coach. That's what they have at the Salt Strong Insider Club. And it's a good deal. It's a good thing. I really, I really believe it. All right, that's how to Tuesday for this week. We'll see you next week.